Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to give us about 30 seconds to let everyone that was in the wait room filter in, and then we'll get started today. So uh, happy Monday, and thanks for joining. We have some people jumping in, so give us a few more seconds to let everyone filter in. I hope everyone had a good weekend. So I will kick us off now. Thank you for being on time uh, and welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. We appreciate you joining us today and uh, we're excited for you to hear from five great schools that might be of interest to you. A few housekeeping announcements for students before we get started. Um, you can use and are highly encouraged to use the Q&A button on your screen to type any questions you have to our presenters at any time. If the questions for a specific college, please make sure you note which college it's for um, and they are more than happy and going to be answering them live um, in the chat as we go. So keep your eye out on that Q&A button. Um, your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Uh, so the only way to communicate with them will be through the Q&A button. Uh, this is just one of our many different sessions that are happening, so be sure to sign up for additional ones. I know we have a few Kansas ones happening in the next week or two, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, and also this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week um, on the same website in which you registered for. So thank you very much for coming, and I'd like now to turn it over to our presenters uh, in our first college. Um, so we are going to start with Manha Manhattan Area Tech. All right, well, hello, welcome. My name is Michelle McFrank, and I am with Manhattan Area Technical College. We are a technical college located in Manhattan, Kansas, and we are uh, located on the west side of Manhattan. So we are over by Seco Park, and um, we are a trades-based college. We have trade programs, um, and then we also have programs in allied health. So we'll kind of talk a little bit about those. Um, we offer hands-on learning programs. So what I mean by that is um, if you do any programs with us, you're going to spend a great deal of time either in the shop or in the lab or in the clinical site. It just kind of depends on what program that you would choose. And then we also have um, very skilled instructors. So a lot of our instructors have um, um, been working in that field prior to becoming an instructor. Um, so they know what they're talking about which also means they've made a lot of contacts prior to um, going into that field. So it will help you when you're starting to look for a job that they have those networking contacts. Uh, we also have a very fast education. So most of our programs are, um, if you do the, um, um, uh, you can either do it nine months with, with um, um, certificate or you can do an associate's degree in two years. So we have those two options and we do have smaller class sizes. So we usually average about 18 or 18 people in a class. Um, we'll kind of just go jump into our program. So we do have the first one to talk about is our automotive technology program. So that is an associate's degree. So it is a two year program. Uh, then we have our business administration program. And that when you have um, two options, you can either do a pathway in administration or a pathway in um, accounting support. And then we also have information and network technology. And that is our computer program. Your basis would either be um, kind of the cybersecurity or IT support, and that one is an associate's degree, a two-year program. Then on the trade side, we do have um, air conditioning, refrigeration, and construction technology. Uh, that one you can do the certificate in nine months or the associate's degree in two years. Again, you'll have your choice on that. Then we have electric power and distribution. Uh, that is a year-long program. That one starts in January. Most programs start in August. Um, that one is a year-long program. Does require a summer internship with that one. Uh, that one does require a, a commercial driver's license in that one, a class A CDL. Uh, and then we also have our welding technology program. That's a nine month program. Or again, you can do the associate's degree in two years. Uh, then we have a new program called critical environments technology. And this is something very unique um, to really kind of across the United States. And so a little bit about that one. Um, that's really kind of maintaining like a safe um, environment to do service work. 
um, in an atmosphere where maybe you need to maintain like a humidity or pressure, that kind of thing. So maybe like a greenhouse or maybe uh, more severe, like maybe with biotechnology, bio um, atmosphere. So uh, that's kind of what that program's about. Uh, then we also have biotechnology. That one would be um, someone that already has a bachelor's degree coming in to get a certificate in biotechnology. And then we have uh, programs in our allied healthcare. So we have practical nursing, which is an LPN program. We have associate degree nursing, which is our RN program. And then medical laboratory technology, which is our um, a program that's more scientific based. And so uh, all three of those programs do require some prerequisite classes uh, when you go through those. And then we do have some short-term allied healthcare trainings. These would be a semester or less. Uh, we have certified medical aid, certified nurses aid, emergency medical technician, phlebotomy, and IV therapy. Um, so kind of some steps to apply. So you can complete um, our online admissions application. Uh, we would need you to request any kind of official transcripts. Uh, you can apply for our financial aid. Um, we do have a QR code. You're welcome to scan that uh, to be able to go directly to our online application. And then um, in the month of October, we are, um, as many colleges are offering uh, a free waiver for high school seniors. So I would encourage you, if you're thinking about applying to Manhattan Tech, this would be the time to do it in the month of October. Our code is apply K-A-N and the number 20. Uh, so if you can type in that code, we would encourage you to apply because um, now is the time. And then um, just a little bit about admission requirements. We do require a high school diploma or a GED. Uh, you would just have your counselor send us that transcript, submit your ACT or Accuplacer scores. So we do not require an ACT. Uh, we would encourage you to, to, call, or to apply for financial aid. Um, you're sure your counselors probably talked to you about that. Um, going on that website, our Manhattan Tech code, you can see this down there, that 005500. And then we would encourage you to schedule a campus visit. You can, we are currently doing those either in person or virtually, and there's our number and our website. Um, and then you can scan that barcode. If you would like to um, get more information, we would love to be able to reach out and talk to you guys. So we would encourage you to do that. Um, we would like you to uh, reach out to us if you have any kind of questions. Um, like I said, we're doing in-person or uh, campus visits virtually, whichever way would be easier for you guys. And um, I do have a colleague that's answering any kind of chat questions. So if you have any questions about Manhattan Tech or more, more detail on programs, I know we don't have a lot of time, so it's just a real brief overview. But we are doing group visits, or not group visits, but we're doing with COVID, we're just doing um, individual visits right now, but you can bring yourself and your parents along. And I think I'm getting pretty close to my time, so I don't want to go over because I know we have some other colleges that are going to uh, be following up here. Well, thank you very much, Manhattan Tech. Um, please, students, remember, please utilize the Q&A feature. Uh, any questions you have, uh, these schools are more than happy to help answer. So next up, we are going to go over to Flint Hills Tech. Good morning, everybody. My name is Brian Crouch. I'm with Flint Hills Technical College. Just want to share a little bit about that, um, what we do. So we innovate, we inspire, and we are Wranglers. And so what I'm gonna show you first is going to be our first uh, campus that we have. We have many campuses that we uh, have our programs in. And so the first one we're going to talk about is gonna be our main campus. We are located in Emporia. Uh, that is on the Eastern part of the state, uh, right on I-35 and the Kansas Turnpike. And you're going to see the many facilities that we have on our campus. Uh, this is our technology building. Uh, you're going to see the Jones Education Facility. And from the back side of campus, you're going to get a good view of all the different facilities that we have for our programs. Now, keep in mind that uh, this is just our main campus. Uh, this is our downtown campus. Uh, the campus here will host our four online programs. They're also face-to-face. -face. And so we'll have four programs that you can choose to do either virtually, remotely, or face-to-face. Uh, our newest one in Emporia is our South Campus. This is our welding facility. This is an 18,000 square foot facility that will house our welding program. Uh, this is just one mile south of our main campus. The newest pro or program and campus we've added is the automotive program in Garnett. Uh, this is partnered with Anderson County High School and we have our automotive program over there uh, with a brand new facility that we've just added to this last year. 
I want to make sure you understand that we are HLC accredited. Uh, that may not mean a whole lot to you, but it will at some point in your post-secondary career. This will allow you to transfer credits on to a four-year university. We are not your only stop in your journey as far as education is concerned. So we want to make sure that you get out and have that opportunity to partner with any of our two plus twos that we have with many universities around the state of Kansas. We have a small student to instructor ratio. We're 14 to one. So you're gonna get a lot of personal one-on-one -on -one attention with your faculty. Uh, great job placement rate. Uh, right now there's more jobs than there are students in these technical fields. And so you're gonna have a great opportunity to get employed at a very high wage uh, when you leave Flint Hills Tech. And of course, we have a tremendous scholarship program. Uh, we will give out between $150,000 and $200,000 annually in, in scholarships. So make sure you apply for that extra uh, financial assistance so we can award you those dollars that our donors have given us. Now, we have a lot of opportunities for high school students. So I wanna talk about that first. And that is with our concurrent and dual credits. Um, there's a lot of things that you guys can start to do early in your high school career. As a high school junior and senior, you can start taking these classes inside of your high school and getting concurrent or dual credit. This will give you a jump start on your college career. The other things you can do is if you're local and around our campus, you can take these on campus, or if you wanna take the online programs, you can take those when you're a junior or senior. So please take advantage of those early opportunities that you have. We offer classes on evenings, weekends, online. Obviously we off offer those during the day as well. So we have a wide variety of offerings for you to take those courses. We have free tuition. The state of Kansas has CTE money set aside for you. And so these dollars allow you to go to school at a huge reduction. You're talking minimal dollars for you to get a lot of college credit for. So please take advantage of that opportunity while you're in high school. Now we have 19 programs here at Flint Hills Tech College. So I'm gonna list those down for you. We're gonna start in our division of arts. We have graphic arts technology, hospitality culinary arts, hospitality dietary management, and multimedia design. In our health division, we have dental assisting, dental hygiene, emergency services technology, healthcare administration management, health occupations technology, and then wrap it up with practical nursing. Our industrial technology division, automotive, computerized machine tool, industrial engineering, power plant, and welding. And then our last division is information technology that has business, computer program design and development, and network technology. This last one you see listed here is called technical studies. We've developed this program, so if you want to combine and customize your training here at Flint Hills Tech, you can take one or two of these programs and combine them into one customized training for yourself. Now to apply here at Flint Hills, you just need to go to our website and on the left hand side, you'll see a button that says apply now. Our application is completely free. So there's no fee for you to apply here at Flint Hills Tech. So if you go and hit the apply now button, you can do that. You can also find all kinds of information on our website about the programs, meet the instructors. Uh, you can set up campus visits there. And so there's a lot of information. Uh, this is a new website that we rolled out this last year. It is mobile friendly, so you should be able to find your way and navigate yourself around that pretty easily. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, again, we encourage you to apply. Uh, that is the best way to, for us to get a hold of you and to stay connected with you as you go through this uh, school year in 2020. Again, my name is Brian Crouch. I am your admissions representative at Flint Hills Tech College. Uh, we are on social media. We encourage you to follow us on social media. So we have Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter. We have all of them. Uh, we have our own YouTube channel. If you really want to get a good feel for what's happening on campus, I would encourage you to get on social media and follow us. Feel free to call, text, or email me, and I'd be happy to set up a campus vi visit with you, and we would be happy to have you on campus. Thanks for coming today. Thank you very much, Brian. Um, next up, we do have Washburn Tech for you guys. All right, well, good morning. My name is Erin Hobson, and I'm an admissions counselor for Washburn Tech. Um, with me today in the chat room, we have Stephanie Jones. Um, so if you guys have any questions throughout, please be sure to reach out to her. 
Um, we are a technical college located in Topeka, Kansas. Um, and here at Washburn Tech, we encourage you to build your best self. Whether you're a high school student just starting out or an adult learner looking for a fresh start, Washburn Tech is here to offer an affordable and achievable path to the future that you want. Advanced technology and equipment labs offer hands-on experience in the classroom and in the field. Washburn Tech works closely with business and industry to ensure all courses teach practical skills and lead to a great job. Here at Washburn Tech, we offer high-tech hands-on programs in high demand fields. Um, we offer innovative instructors who prepare you for the real world um, experiences. We have outstanding career placement. And of course, we have advanced degrees through our Washburn University affiliation. At Washburn Tech, we help you discover your calling through career-specific technical education designed to inform, encourage, and support. <clears throat> At Washburn Tech, we offer a variety of programs from advanced manufacturing. For example, we have our Advanced Systems Technology Program, where our experienced instructors uh, teach you to troubleshoot, repair, and maintain the latest industrial equipment such as pumps, electric motors, conveyor belt systems, and production machinery to prepare you to work at one of the leading manufacturing companies in Kansas. We also have computer and networking technology. Uh, this program is also called information systems technology, where you will learn to build a computer from the ground up. Um, our students learn to install and configure as well as support local area networks, as well as uh, wide area networks. Additionally, students learn to monitor the network to ensure availability, security, as well as website performance. We also have our construction programs. Uh, one program we have in our state-of-the-art Midwest training facility. Students enrolled in the climate and energy or HVAC program are trained in the areas of electricity, heating, residential air conditioning, refrigeration, sheet metal fabrication, direct digital controls, and commercial HVAC applications. We also have transportation. Uh, Washburn Tech can map your route to an exciting career in auto collision repair, auto service technician, or even diesel technology. You will work with your hands using the latest technology. Students also have the opportunity in this program to work with the community on our service projects, such as recycled rides and restoration at our Combat Air Museum. Uh, for our business programs um, or also office programs, um, we have these online programs where you can learn the skills to prepare you for a rewarding future in business, law, or medical offices. We also have drafting and design, where we have our graphics technology program, as well as technical drafting, which are programs that provide hands-on experience in the use of proper drafting tools, software, and equipment. And in our healthcare, we have a number of programs. Um, it's an exciting time to be in the healthcare field. We offer uh, practical nursing, surgical technology, and even phlebotomy, and our healthcare students learn with hands-on experience in our regional simulation lab. Uh, we also have hospitality and human service programs. Um, here at Washburn Tech, we actually offer one of the very few um, public cosmetology programs in the state. In our 1500 hour program, you will gain the confidence to take on clients for intricate haircuts and styles, manage hair, administer facials, and provide nail care, including manicures and pedicures. Washburn Tech provides students with information on business management and growth, giving them the education and skills they need should they dream to become a nail or hair salon owner. Washburn Tech recognizes that financial aid is an important part of your decision to attend any college, and we have made it easy for you to afford your education. Funding sources include the federal government, the state of Kansas and Washburn Tech. To apply for federal financial aid, you can complete the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA at fafsa.gov. 
Washburn Tech awards more than $100,000 in scholarships each year. Many of these scholarships come from our business and industry partners who want you to succeed and fill the needs in their workforce. Because we're part of Washburn University, you have the opportunity to pursue an advanced degree. <laughs> Students are eligible to continue on to the university to obtain their associate's degree at a reduced rate. You can also live right where you learn with housing on Washburn University's campus, just 10 minutes from Washburn Tech. Whether you choose to live on campus or not, you are considered a Washburn University student and you will have full access to their campus. And then if you are interested in Washburn Tech, please feel free to go to our website, washburntech.edu and fill out our application or call us at 785-7. 670-2200 and we can set up a campus visit or answer any questions for you. Thank you very much Washburn Tech and um, we're going to pass it off to our next school which is Selena Tech. Hey guys, good morning. My name is Preston. I work at Salina Area Technical College. Hope y'all are having a good day so far. Uh, we are located in Salina, Kansas, which is pretty central to the Kansas area. Um, we do have a wide variety of programs. All of these programs can complete, be completed in nine months for a technical certificate. Um, automotive collision repair, which is like working on cars, helping them after they've been in a crash. Um, the painting side as well, um, business administrative technology. So that one, you can either choose the administrative pathway, management pathway, or the accounting pathway. Uh, Computer-aided drafting, which works closely with the construction technology program, which I'll get to here in a second, but they build floor layout designs of houses, tools, different things like that, all on the computer. So construction technology um, does work all over campus and in the uh, Salina area. They build a house for Habitat for Humanity every year, um, which is a really cool project. They base everything from all the way from laying the concrete to shingling the roof. We also have dental assisting and electrical technology, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, medical assisting, machine tool technology, and welding technology. So like I said, all these programs can be completed in nine months, but there is also uh, the option to get an associate's degree after completing the technical certificate um, by completing some general education classes and some elective classes as well. We also do have some mandatory two-year programs which would be our diesel technology which is an associate's degree only program and then our automotive technology which is a two-year technical certificate program that you can come for a third year if you would like to uh, get that associate's degree. So we do have a few programs with some prerequisite classes. Um, practical nursing and our associate's degree nursing all have prerequisite classes that you must take in order to get in. Also with the associate's degree nursing, you do have to have a LPN to get into that program as well. Um, we are also in the works of getting a dental hygiene program that will hopefully come uh, this fall in 2021. So we do also have other programs such as Allied Health, which would be your CNA, CMA, EMT, and the commercial truck driving. All these besides the EMT program can be completed in eight weeks. Um, the EMT program is a full semester class. So how to apply, you just go to salinatech.edu and in the upper left hand corner, it'll say apply now. You'll just follow the steps and it's a totally free application. So that's really cool. Um, I did forget to mention that all these programs do start in August, except with the exception of the business program and the auto collision repair program, which do start in August, but you can also start those in uh, January in the spring semester as well. Um, we do have some admissions requirements. So uh, if you get us your unofficial transcript, we can accept you into, an, into a program. Uh, we just can't enroll you until we have that official high school transcript. So let's say you're a senior and you want to apply, get us that unofficial transcript. And once you graduate, 
um, get us that official. So we can save your spot in the program with the unofficial and then get you going with all your classes when we get your official in. Um, we do also take GEDs as well. Um, we do also require testing scores. So we do accept the ACT, the SAT, um, state assessment scores, um, NWEA map testing, and we do also offer on campus uh, free AccuPlacer testing, which comprises of reading, writing, and math. So for general education classes, we offer a wide variety of them. Uh, most general education classes will transfer to any Regent school in Kansas, except for our technical writing and our technical math. Um, and we can send out these PowerPoints. Um, you can click on the course schedule and see uh, what all gen ed classes that we have to offer. Um, it's a really good deal. Um, and you can save a lot of money um, going through us. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. And um, we have one last school for you guys today, and that is Eric Fisher Academy. Hi guys, my name is Kristen and I work in the admissions office at Eric Fisher Academy. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. And I also have Darian here with me in the admissions office to handle the chat portion. So if you guys have any questions as we're going through this presentation today, please don't hesitate to reach out. Eric Fisher Academy was actually founded back in 2007 here in Wichita, Kansas by our owner and leader, Eric Fisher. After um, years of owning his own salons, he really wanted to be a part of creating that next generation of beauty industry professionals. He is a world famous cosmetologist and one of the biggest names in the beauty industry. At Eric Fisher Academy, we do offer both full-time and part-time cosmetology, as well as a full-time aesthetics program. Um, so all of our full-time programs can be completed in under a year, which means our graduates can get started with their careers right away. Um, as mentioned before, um, the full-time cosmetology program takes about 10 months to complete with good attendance, um, and that part-time program takes about 19 months with good attendance. That cosmetology curriculum here at EFA covers both women's and men's haircutting, it covers hair color techniques, makeup, nails, waxing, and facials, where aesthetics on the other side um, covers advanced skincare treatments, extractions, um, basic and special effects makeup training, as well as lash extensions and um, full body waxing. And that full-time curriculum takes about seven to eight months to complete with good attendance. Both programs include a very hands-on curriculum um, that allow our students to begin working and practicing with actual clients on the salon floor. And we really pride ourselves in having a very busy salon and spa floor at Eric Fisher Academy. Um, in fact, last year alone, we did over 50,000 services on that salon and spa floor, which means lots of practice for our students while they're in school. Not only do we focus on the technique that you need while you're in school, but we also focus on the business side as well. Um, Prosper U is the business side of our training um, that was actually written and developed by our owner, Eric Fisher. Um, and it's five months of business training immersed right into both the cosmetology and aesthetics program. And it's designed to teach our students how to offer legendary customer service, how to build a clientele and maintain that while they're working in the industry, how to set financial goals and meet those through selling retail, up servicing, pre-booking. And while at school at Eric Fisher Academy, we really want to help our students create good habits um, while they're in school um, so they can hit the ground running when they leave EFA. Many employers have shared with us that this is one of their favorite parts about hiring our graduates um, and they really love our business training. Not only do we believe that it's important to hold our students to high standards while they're attending the academy, but we also believe that learning should be about fun. Um, so at Eric Fisher Academy, we've created a really positive culture that we believe makes the EFA learning experience so memorable for our graduates. In fact, we have lots of extracurricular activities such, a leadership, such as leadership team, um, where our students can really get involved by volunteering and helping plan various fun events for the entire school. Um, right now, we have a really fun flip cup tournament going on, which is a lot of fun with water, of course. 
and they are planning a talent show and our upcoming annual Halloween party um, where students can get involved as well. As a school, we also really love giving back to the community and we've participated in events such as the Magic Yarn Project, pampering NICU parents at the Wesley Medical Center, as well as um, providing service to raise money for organizations like Beauties and Beasts. Uh, many of our graduates here at EFA have shared with us that their experience at Eric Fisher Academy has allowed them to leave this academy with not just a beauty license, but also with lifelong friendships as well. For those of you that are curious what the inside of the academy looks like, Eric Fisher Academy is actually an 18,000 square foot facility with 56 styling stations for our cosmetology students, eight shampoo bowls in the middle for um, those cosmetology students, a brow bar for facial waxing, makeup bar for client makeup applications, and then a color bar for mixing hair color. We're also very proud to announce the opening of our brand new spa for estheticians. Um, that spa features eight um, separate um, spa beds, two private and separate waxing rooms, as well as electrotherapy machines, um, LED light therapy, microdermabrasion machines, and cold laser machines as well. Um, we also love that we have our own photo and video studio here at the Academy, um, which is a lot of fun for our students to get lots of practice getting their work photographed. Um, one project that our students really love while they're in school at Eric Fisher Academy is the opportunity to get their own one-on-one -on -one photo shoot with Eric Fisher, where they're actually responsible for doing all the styling on a model of their choice, and Eric does all the photography so they can get some great shots for their portfolio and um, experience a really fun and creative side of this industry. So if any of this sounds exciting to you and you're wanting to get more information on Eric Fisher Academy, we would love for you to check out our website at ericfisheracademy.com. Here you will see our uh, Academy's landing page where you can click on um, the program that you're interested, either view cosmetology or view aesthetics. And at the very top up top here, you'll see that we also have a virtual tour. We would absolutely love for you to check that out. You can actually walk through the Academy from the convenience of your own computer, which is really cool. Um, so you can kind of navigate your way through the school, see what the inside looks like without even coming in. And then over here on the side of our website, you'll see all these different tabs where you can check out the programs. Um, check out also uh, our photo and video gallery where you can see fun runway shows put on by our graduates. Check out scholarship and financial aid information. And at the bottom, you'll see a tab there to request information. So if you have any further questions for us, you'll see our start dates coming up for 2021 for those seniors. You can input your information here and that will immediately come to our admissions office. And we'd love to get back with you and answer any questions that you have. Um, and then, of course, for juniors and seniors, we'd love for you to take that next step and also schedule a visit with us at the Academy. Um, that is the best way for you to learn about this is to come in and see it all for yourself. You can call us, text us, or um, as stated before, you can also submit your information at ericfisheracademy.com. But we appreciate your time and thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Um, so students, that was all five schools that we have for you today. Um, please feel free to utilize that Q&A feature um, with any last minute questions you have for the schools before they head off for the day. Um, I see we have one in there uh, and then hopefully please add some more in there. Um, and if there's anything else um, any of our participants have, um, you're more than welcome to uh, speak up now. Uh, and if not, uh, we will finish up our session for the day. Mm -hmm. See, we have one more question. Um, so I don't want to wrap up until the question gets answered. Um, so I will give us a second. Uh, so our panelists can, oh. There we go. Um, so thank you all for joining us today. I don't see any more questions coming in, but feel free to add them in there if, uh, while I'm speaking and we will be happy to answer them for you. Um, when you guys close out from this seminar today, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you could provide for us. Um, also, please remember there are other sessions being hosted, um, so be sure to join additional ones uh, this week. And don't forget, this was recorded, so you will be able to find this session's recording um, on the website that you did register for. And I'm not going to close out because I see there are um, 
another question uh, in the Q&A. Um, so feel free to stick around for a minute or two um, to make sure we get the question answered for you and any other questions uh, that you guys might have. Um, and if not, thank you for joining uh, and have a great day. I see we had two questions pop up. So just so you guys know, um, our admission counselors are still here and they will be answering those. So just hang tight if you submitted one uh, and they will get an answer for you um, before you head out. So thank you. We have lots of questions coming in now, so um, just so the reps know, uh, but please feel free, uh, any participants stick around and keep asking. Last call to students. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the Q&A now um, so we can wrap this up uh, and let our presenters uh, head off to their day. So thank you. I don't see any more questions. So thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm going to end the webinar um, and we look forward to seeing you join us at one of our future ones. Have a great day.